Greetings demons and welcome to a bit of a collection video, though not specifically about everything with my collection, though we are obviously starting over at the game shelf. Um, so if you are new to the channel, I have covered this a little bit in the past, but essentially this is all the games that I own physically, for consoles that is, there are a few for PC that are in a different room actually in my office, but uh, yeah, in this video I want to discuss something very, very specific, and that is Scanlanders. I am a huge fan of Skylanders, I have been since Skylanders Giants released on the Wii, and yeah, I have recently getting Wii back into it, which, uh, you know, good in some ways, bad in terms of my wallet, but uh, in any case, I just wanted to go over all of the Skylanders stuff that I currently have in my collection, a bit of a overall, you know, this is what I have. I did one of these a very long time ago, I'm not even sure if it's still on the channel anymore, but uh, yeah, since then I have moved, I have built my collection pretty substantially, and I just kind of want to go over everything that I have, starting of course with the games. But uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a Rabbit Vax video without the intro, so roll it. Not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sex. And now we can get into the games. So starting off, as I pointed out right at the start, the only Wii game I actually have on the shelf, I do actually own one other, is Skylanders Giants. This was my first ever Skylanders game. And this is my original copy. Um, it's actually in pretty decent condition. I think the sleeve has come out a little bit, but yeah, very good game. I do quite enjoy that one. And obviously it got me into this whole thing. Um, as I say, I do have another Wii game that I will cover, but that is not on the shelf right now. Moving on though, I do then have to go down all the way. I don't actually have the one on Switch, which is, uh, I should probably get Imaginators, but that's, that's another story. Go down to 360 and you'll see, once again, we have Giants. Imaginators, these are out of order from release just because um, alphabetizing. It ruins a lot of these, but uh, yeah, we have Giants once again. Imaginators, which was the last Scanners game. Sparrow's Adventure, or as I say, the first. And also the only one to actually mention um, a crossover on the box. Sparrow's Adventure, obviously Spyro isn't even the primary character. Like, we've got Stealth Elf at the front here instead of Spyro. Very interesting choice, but yeah. Very good game, in my opinion, and a great start to the series. It's just not what I started with. We also have Superchargers, which was the racing game. Swap Force. Wait, no, this is... Wait. Yeah, no, Swap Force. Um, which definitely has the most interesting gimmick. Um, the ability to actually change the top and bottom half of Skylanders is very, very cool to me. Uh, I have actually spent a lot of time on this game, just not on the 360 version. And then, finally, we have Trap Team. So, yeah, I own the entire series on Xbox 360, it's just not how I played it. I actually got these in a lot um, from a friend's sibling, or a friend's brother, um, a very long time ago. But uh, yeah, Trap Team as well, which a pretty interesting gimmick, just not as good as Swap Force. Personally, my favourite gimmicks are the ones in Giants, the actual Giants themselves, and then the swap ability from the Swap Masters. Yeah, Trap Masters, not really something that I was overly interested in. But then that leaves us with our final section, which is down here on the Xbox One shelf. And this just has three. I have Superchargers, uh, Swap Force, and Trap Team. So I never actually had Imaginators. Um, this version I've never played. I have not touched Imaginators in-game. Um, I quite like the figures. The Senseis are cool and stuff. But yeah, Imaginators, not a game I've spent any time with. So yeah, my main games were realistically Swap Force and Superchargers. And I don't really like Superchargers that much. But yeah, they are the three that I have on the Xbox One, and the ones that I've played most recently, you know, at release sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, very good games, those two, Trap Team and, and uh, Swap Force. It's just, yeah, Superchargers, not one of my favourites, and that's going to be kind of reflected in my collection. Um, it's the weakest of the ones that I personally played. But uh, yeah, that is the games that I actually have on the shelf right now. And yeah, we can now move on to the actual figures. So starting out with the core figures, as I call them, so this is every standard non-specialized like Skylander, all the way up to Trap Team. Starting from left to right, we do have all of the SSA figures. I'm only missing two of the original Sparrow's Adventure figures, that being Ghost Roaster and Sunburn. Um, so I'm working on those two. I'm actually very close to getting both of them. Um, it's just been a little... A little harder getting a good price than I thought it would be. But yeah, obviously, starting on the front, we have all the magic uh, Skylanders. I do have them separated by element. I'm not going to go as much detail into all of them. i uh, just kind of pointing out some of my favourites. But yeah, some very good characters in SSA. Some of my personal favourites in a lot of ways. 
Um, but yeah, as I said, my main game was Giants, and there's another of the games that you know I didn't have on the shelf. So obviously, that's the other Wii game being uh, Sparrow's Adventure, and that's the only PS3 game I have, Giants. Which uh, yeah, as you can tell, I bought a Sparrow's Adventure starter kit um, from a charity shop. Interestingly enough, almost complete. I'm just missing the dongle for the um, for the portal, which is really frustrating. But that's another story for another day. When it comes to this kind of the Giants booster pack. This is just the game and the figure. There is nothing else to it. No portal. I think you do get the poster inside. I've, I've opened it, but I don't actually remember what's inside. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Basically, if you had the PS3 version of Sparrow's Adventure, you just got the Giants booster pack, or if you had a different version of the booster pack, and then it just upgrades your previous version with the Giants content. But yeah, speaking of which, Giants. So uh, starting around here... We have uh, Giants, and you can see there are some duplicates I have for not really much of a reason. Um, things like Wrecking Brawl here, like, don't have much of a reason to have two of them. I just bought multiple lots at various times I've had them. But uh, something that may be standing out a little bit to some people is these painted figures. And these are not by me. Um, I bought them like this in lots. And, uh, yeah, some of them are better than others. Like, <laughs> this guy and the War Turtle... Not great, but there is somewhere around here. I actually can't see it in real life. Oh, here we go. Over here, this lightning rod. I don't know what it's painted with, but it's a nice metallic colour. I just really like this, like, custom design for him. Um, but yeah, obviously, not official, not my own handiwork, but just, I, I quite like this one. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different Skylanders here. And yeah, when it comes to Giants... Um, my main love was always Trigger Happy, this being the Giants version of him, you can tell by the orange base, and uh, that is one of the characters that I have got a few of, um, that being two of the original alongside the one that's actually in the starter, uh, starter pack, um, along with, I say, the Giants version, and then we also have the Swap Force version as well, which uh, this is actually Springtime Trigger Happy, one of the variants, you'll see a few other variants within my collection, but yeah, just some very, very fun figures there. Uh, obviously, moving on to Swap Force and Trap Team, um, that's where it starts to thin out a little bit, so you can actually see up to fire. Um, this is where Giants ends. One, two that aren't actually from um, Spurs Adventure or Giants, and that's how a lot of this goes. Uh, my collection drops off drastically after Giants, uh, just because I wasn't as much of a completionist at that point. But I do, once again, have some pretty fun little uh, variants here. This is... Uh, Oh, is it Kickoff kick Countdown, I think is his name? I do have the standard countdown there as well. But uh, yeah, he's just a football. I quite like that. And yeah, there's also... I, I did kind of look at it, but yeah. Molten Hot Dog. This was a Walmart exclusive in the US, and I believe an Asda exclusive in the UK. This was back when Asda was like exclusively owned by Walmart, uh, which I believe has kind of changed in more recent years. But yeah, I spent so long hunting for this guy. He is honestly one of my favourite figures. Um, even though Hot Dog isn't necessarily one of my favourite characters, I adore this guy, and the amount of work that I put in to get this guy is is unbelievable, compared to most of them, uh, which were, you know, more like I just happened upon them. Uh, yeah, this guy is, is excellent. I do I do love my Molten Hot Dog. And, uh, yeah, realistically, the only other thing I could really mention, if I can find him, there he is, is Pop Fizz. This, of course, being the Valentine's edition of Pop Fizz from... From Trap Team, uh, from Swap Force, and, uh, which version? Trap Team. From Trap Team. <laughs> I had to remember that there. But, uh, yeah, my second favourite Skylander after Trigger Happy is Pop Fizz, and, uh, yeah, I love Gremlins in the Skylanders games, and this is my favourite version of Pop Fizz, the, uh, Love Potion, I believe it's called Love Potion Pop Fizz. I do really like this guy, and, uh, yeah, lovely, lovely character to have in my collection, but, uh, yeah, the only other one I kind of want to point out, if I can find him, there we go, Stump Smash. Uh, this was the first Skylander I actually bought after getting the game. So I had Skylander's Giants Wii with the starter pack, uh, so that's Cinder, Jetvac, and uh, Tree Rex, you know, the big, the big giant there. We will get into Giants in a moment. And I went into a HMV while I was in London for uh, the Christmas holidays, and they had a ton of the second series, not the first series, the second series of Giants figures. Um, and one of those was my boy Stump Smash. And even though I already had a life element character because of uh, Tree Rex, this guy really spoke to me. I don't know what it is. To this day, I, I don't know why I like, I like Stump Smash as much as I do, but uh, I'd love if the camera would focus on him. 
yeah, I, I don't know. This guy's great. Um, I really do like him. He has some of the mo- more fun moves, in my opinion. And obviously, he's an original Sparrow's adventure character. I do have two of them there. But, yeah, this guy just has a lot of sentimental value to me. I do really like him. And, uh, yeah, I just thought, worth telling. I can't find where he goes. There we go. <laughs> um, worth telling. So, yeah, a pretty large collection here. My biggest um, thing is definitely SSA right now, though, obviously... Giants is pretty close when it comes to characters. I'm I'm about halfway through the Giants um, figures. I have every single figure that is new for Giants. So technically, I think other than Ghost Roaster... Ooh. Yeah, no. Other than Ghost Roaster and Sunburn, they're the only two characters I don't actually have between SSA and Giants. So I can play the entirety of Giants 100% with every character unlocked except for Sunburn and Ghost Roaster, so that's more reason I need to get some Burn and Ghost Roaster for the uh, SSA collection, but yeah, a lot of really fun figures, I do adore these guys, and uh, yeah, that is the core collection, so I guess we're going to move on to the gimmick figures, which uh, drops off substantially, but we'll get to it, we'll get to it. So, moving over to the gimmick figures, and obviously every game after SSA had some form of gimmick, uh, I'm not including superchargers just now, I'm going to include them in the next section with the vehicles. But, uh, yeah, starting off with, obviously, my main game, Giants. Um, I don't actually have too many of the Giants, and I feel like I, at one point, owned more than this. But yeah, we have, of course, Tree Rex, who's a starter pack um, figure, the starter pack giant. And uh, I've spent a lot of time with this guy, obviously, I now have three of them, because I have the booster pack version and the two that I just have. Um... Yeah, I, I like this guy. He's He's got a lot of sentimentality. I used to use this guy as an actual action figure. Um, very little action, but I used to use him with other figurines just to, you know, play around with and stuff. It was it was a fun time. Uh, it just gives me a lot of nostalgia looking at him. It ro- reminds me a lot of another thing that as a kid I was very interested in, which was Gormitty, uh, Invincible Lords of Nature, I think was the subtitle for that. And yeah, just a very, very fun, big, chunky guy. And I'm also going to quickly just show off these guys all have what is called a light core feature. I don't actually own any of the standard light cores. But yeah, when you put them on the portal, in Tree Rex's case, his little symbol on his head, his eyes, and his blaster, I guess, on his fist, all light up. And this was a thing across all giants, actual giants, as well as the light cores which are new to the game. So, very cool there. But yeah, in terms of um, special ones, I do have Granite Crusher, uh, along with two regular crushers. Uh, and yeah, it's a nice little, you know, darkened version of the same character. Nothing too interesting. My favourites, um, which is why they're at the front, Booster and Swarm. Two excellent giants. I do really love these guys. Um, obviously, when it comes to giants, I don't have too many to go go through. But yeah, I do love these guys. Aesthetically, I think Booster is the, is the best. But yeah, Swarm I always enjoy playing as. And yeah, I, I couldn't imagine not owning these guys and playing giants, honestly. It's... it's they are just some of my favourites. I love playing as them, and uh, also two very fast giants, which is always a benefit. But yeah, then we move over to Swap Force, which I have a few more of, though. A lot more booster pack, uh, not booster, starter pack characters. Um, so, yeah, the whole gimmick with these guys, and uh, I might as well show it. Um, you can separate their top and bottom half, which is why this guy, um, Heat Blast, is separated. And yeah, you combine them together, and it actually works in-game like that. One of my favourite gimmicks... Uh, just being able to mix and match like that is so cool to me. And uh, unfortunately, I only have the top half of this guy. Uh, though I do have two backups of him if I really need his bottom half. And uh, yeah, honestly, very fun figures to play around with. Really neat feature. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, don't have too many of these once once again. In terms of the gimmick figures, I never really got into them as much. Even though I do quite like Swap Force. Um, but yeah, some very fun ones here. I do want more. Definitely want to get... Um, at least a full set to be able to complete the game 100% because I've never been able to do that. But uh, yeah, some very fun figures here. I do I do quite like my... Uh, I don't remember this guy's name, but I do quite like him with the little ghost uh, ghost boxer sort of design. Very, very fun. But uh, yeah, overall, very nice figures and some of the f- most fun gimmicks, both as figurines and as actual like in-game, you know, gimmicks, I suppose. Um, but yeah, before we move on to the Trapmasters... I will just quickly jump in and look at these guys. Um, I don't remember what they were actually called in Trap Team, but uh, yeah, originally these guys were called Sidekicks and were included in various promotions. The one I always remember, there was a McDonald's promotion, I'm pretty sure, 
uh, where you could get the SSA versions of these guys, or it might have been the Giants versions, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, these are the only two that I own, and uh, I do want to get more of them, I do really think they're really cute. But yeah, the eyebrow version, which uh, is interesting, I don't actually own him as a giant. But uh, yeah, the little sidekick version, and then also the sidekick version of Hex. Don't know either of the names, unfortunately. But uh, very cute little figures, I do really like them. And uh, nice little additions, and I, I do want to get the original versions of them. Uh, the, not the original versions of these guys, but the you know original green or uh, orange based versions, just so I can actually you know enjoy them in the two games that I play more. Um, but yeah, very cute little guys. Do you want to get more of them? Very very cool. Then moving over to the Trap Masters, the fun thing with these guys was that their weapons were Traptanium. Uh, obviously, I have quite a few of Snapshot because I have three of him once again. Um, w once again, not too many of these guys, though I do have this Christmas variant of. Uh, uh, his, his name is like something to do with the stars, but I can't remember. I, I don't know. I'm not very good with names past giants, unfortunately. But yeah, I do have the Christmas version of this guy, and uh, yeah, pretty cool overall. Nothing too interesting, but uh, yeah, these guys in general. Trap Team, I think, is fun, uh, but the Trap Masters themselves are not what make it fun. The thing that makes it fun is the you know actual traps and getting the villains and stuff, which I will go over the traps I have. I don't have too many. I will go over those towards the end. Uh, but yeah, Trap Team. Very fun game. Some interesting special characters, but nothing too great. And then that leaves us, because we're skipping over Supercharge for now, with our Senseis from Imaginators. And uh, yeah, I said before, I've not played Imaginators. These guys are all what I got in a bundle, in a, in a lot. But uh, yeah, this guy, Dr. Crankcase, obviously a pretty um, common villain within the franchise. Very cool figure there. I do really like him. This is also the game that does have Crash and Neocortex, Crash Bandicoot and Neocortex, uh, which I don't unfortunately have, neither do I have these Superchargers uh, Mario figures, but uh, yeah, these guys are cool, I like the Penguin, Penguin's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't have much of a connection to these guys, I just kind of have them, and other than Crankcase, because he's a returning villain, I don't really care about them. I mean, she's also a returning villain from Superchargers, um, but I don't even remember her name, so... <laughs> It, it says how much I like superchargers, not much, but uh, yeah, very cool figures though. They are the biggest, other than the giant, which, to be fair, some of these are actually bigger than giants, which is funny to think about, but uh, yeah, very nice figures. Do you like them? A lot of details on them. They all have a different style of base, which uh, we'll also see with superchargers compared to standard um, Skylander figures. But yeah, very, very cool, and that is all my gimmick figures, so... Finally, I guess, for figures at least, let's move on to Superchargers and their vehicles. So here we have the Superchargers, and despite everything that I've said about, you know, how mediocre of a game that is to me, I did spend a lot of time with it. It was the, you know, next-gen Skylands game for a very long time for me. Even though I had Swap Force and Trap Team, Superchargers is the one I spent the most time playing, and I feel like it's kind of reflected by how many Superchargers figures and vehicles I actually have. Unlike with some of the other collections, a lot of these are legitimately ones that I bought when I was playing the game, rather than ones that I got in some sort of later lot. Um, like you see with so many of, you know, things like the Senseis from Imaginators and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I have a lot of these guys. And something fun that I think is worth pointing out is that unlike the Skyland figures themselves, all the vehicles are actual functional toys. So all the land vehicles have moving wheels, all the, you know, water vehicles have like things like propellers, or not all of them, because I think, I think the Sea Shadow, oh no, I think the Sea Shadow actually has no functionality whatsoever in real life. But uh, yeah, even have things like the, the wings on this one moving, which they move together as well, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of nice functionality with that one. This submarine has a moving tail, <laughs> like a fish. And yeah, there's just a lot of cool stuff going on here. So you may notice the dark figures. This is the only one I actually have the dark starter pack version for. I actually did get that one originally. That was my starter pack, was the dark edition. And while all Skylanders, I think other than Imaginators, had a dark or legendary edition, um, I've somehow avoided them completely. <laughs> Supercharged was the only one that I had like this, and I did end up later getting the standard versions of the figures, which... Uh, I don't have the Sea Shadow in standard, but I do have, there we go, I have the other standard version of Stealth Elf along with her helicopter, and yeah, there is a lot of duplication here to be fair, but I think it's all for, you know, 
pretty good reasons. I do like a lot of these characters, as I say. Uh, Jetpack, one of my favourites for Air, especially. Um, Stealth Elf, obviously, I have a lot of Stealth Elves. Um, she's, she's one of my favourites. She's, she's up there for life. And then, obviously, Pop Fizz. I'm missing Trigger Happy. But he's so expensive to get um, that I don't think I'll ever actually end up getting him. But, uh, yeah, these guys are great. Once again, Christmas version of whatever this guy's called. Don't remember. Shadow version, so I pointed out. This is also my only Dark figure, I believe. Um, don't know her name either, but, uh, yeah, Dark Element. Something that was introduced with, I believe, Trap Team? I may be wrong there. Um, but yeah, introduced pretty late on, and... Yeah, I only have one dark uh, figure, and I don't have any light, I don't think. Unless I'm seriously missing something, but yeah, a lot of fun uh, different things. This is a variant on this vehicle as well, which is pretty nice. But yeah, the vehicles, very cool. The figures, also pretty neat. Some of the bigger standard, you know, Skylander figures. This was obviously a bit after, like, Core had kind of been phased out. Uh, you could still use Core figures in, you know, Superchargers and onward. But, yeah, this was the point at which Core kind of faded away into the background. And instead you had... N the new gimmick figures were all the figures. And, uh, yeah, definitely an interesting take on the concept. But, yeah, very, very fun figures. And the vehicles, of course, with the little functionality and stuff. Very, very fun. Very, very cool. But, uh, yeah, that leaves us with the non-figure items that I have. So, uh, let's move on to those, I suppose. So, to finish off, I just want to go over a few miscellaneous things I just happen to have that are Skylanders related. Starting off with two games that I did fail to mention, that being Sparrow's Adventure and Skylanders Giants for the 3DS. Um, I don't own the portals for this, um, I just own the games, that's it. That's why I don't really keep the, well, I don't keep any portable games on the game shelf. But, uh, yeah, I own the cartridge, and that's as far as that goes. So, um, yeah. Never played them, probably never will, unless I get the Star Packs in full, which I've been I've been looking at, but uh, they can get a bit pricey, which is the problem. But uh, yeah, still, you know, two things that are in my collection that are Skylanders. Next up, we have this carry case. This is a Skylanders Giants carry case. It did come with one shell, uh, randomly enough, originally. And yeah, essentially, it's a castle that opens up to reveal a little bridge and a little bit of storage space. So this is a display box as well as a carry case. Um, I've only ever really used it as a carry case, but yeah, if you want, you can display a few figures. It's good for giants, good for literally every size figure fits within this height. Um, it's just how many you can fit depends on the width. Uh, so Sensei's you probably fit, you might be able to squeeze free in depending on how their stances are posed. But uh, yeah, for the most part, you're fitting, you know, three at most of the larger figures and probably five or six of the smaller figures if you really want to, if you want to display them like that. And uh yeah, I do also, though I don't know where it is, own the Battle Arena display set, which, yeah, that is an interesting one. It's essentially a big circle, I'll have a picture on screen, but it's a big circle with a portal spot in the middle, uh, which can display a number of figures around it. I do own it. I don't know where it is, though. And, uh, yeah, I I honestly don't know where that's gone, because I've had it recently. Just not recently enough for me to know where it is, but... um. Yeah, I do own that. Unfortunately, I don't own the little Colosseum um, display stand that goes with it, uh, but definitely something that I will get in the future, probably. Uh, just because it's a good way of displaying figures, and I do quite like the aesthetic of it all. Just like how I, I quite like the aesthetic of this. There's also the tower, um, which is another carry case, you know, display case sort of thing, which works with that one. Um, I don't own it, but I, I do want it. There's a lot of display things that I really do like from, I think, I think it's PDP, made them or it's one of those companies one of those really common uh, third party companies anyway enough rambling on that finally we have the books i have so starting off we have the skylanders spires adventure official guide master eon's official guide and it includes an exclusive addition to your skylanders spires universe uh, which is what i was mentioning before about spires spires universe um i can't remember is it in the front oh, you can tell i've gone through this many a time uh, by how damaged everything is. Um, hmm. Here we go. So you get an exclusive penguin. That that was the benefit. You got an exclusive penguin in Spyro's Universe, which was the PC and mobile game, um, which I have very fond memories of. I played it a lot. And uh, yeah, the official guide. There is a version of this for every single game up to... 
I think it stopped at Superchargers. I think there wasn't one for Superchargers or Imaginators, but up to then, there was a Master Eon's official guide, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also have the Sparrow's Adventure Brady Games official guide, and uh, you can tell as well, this one, I thumbed through a lot. It is in very bad condition, but uh, yeah, the official guide from Brady Games, who make everything. I have a lot of Call of Duty guides from Brady Games, but yeah, Sparrow's Adventure is the one that I ended up buying. Um, I think I just got it at a very cheap price and was just interested in seeing what it had. Uh, and it's kind of, as you expect, it goes through levels, it tells you about different things, different secrets, different enemies, as well as the different characters. This is also how you find out some of the lore, along with this, for the Sparrow's Adventure cast, which is pretty neat enough itself. And then to finish off, we have the 2013 annual, which is Sparrow's Adventure themed, and uh, yeah, pretty fun, does have an advertisement for Giants on the back. And then the Skylanders Universe annual from 2015, so... Yeah, I believe this was actually the last annual they did. Obviously, I skipped all the way between them. But, uh, yeah, very funny how the first one is Sparrow's Adventure. I think the second one is specifically Giants, and then all the rest of a universe. It's a very, very interesting take on the idea. But, uh, yeah, definitely a fun little thing. And, yeah, nice things to have in the collection as a whole. Just because they, they stand out a little bit. You know, having the books, it's something different. Not everyone gets them. And, uh... Yeah, I, I quite enjoy having stuff like this, even if it is a little bit redundant because, you know, Google exists. But, uh, yeah, I like this kind of stuff. And this is cool. I don't know. There's something about displayable stuff for Toys to Life that I've always liked. Um, I have, and this is completely off topic, but I do have the Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel display stand. Uh, and it's one of my favorite things ever. Uh, I'm sure I'll do a Disney Infinity collection video in the future. But, uh yeah, with that all being said, let's just quickly mention this. This is Skylander's Trap Team for iOS and iPad. And yeah, this is a very interesting game, um, to say the least. I, uh, I'm not an Apple player. I don't, I've never owned Apple technology of any kind. Uh, I bought this purely for the novelty because I was able to get it for dead cheap. But yeah, it comes with a proprietary controller, which does not work with modern devices, a proprietary portal which doesn't work with other devices, and a game that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it is the weirdest combination of things ever, but it's otherwise just Trap Team. It's Trap Team on mobile. Very interesting to me, and uh, yeah, I want to jailbreak this controller. I want to use it. But yeah, so far no one has really figured out how to do that. I have had a go at trying to code something. I'm not best at coding. I'm not very good at all. I probably will never figure it out. I want to, because I want to use this controller on something other than this game doesn't exist anymore. But uh, yeah, that is everything that I want to talk about and can really talk about, because it's all I have, for Skylanders. So um, yeah, in any case, that is going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed, if you did, make sure to like it, subscribe to the internet, and ring that bell so you never upload. Otherwise, come below your history of Skylanders, your, you know, favourite character, your favourite game, anything like that and yeah i'm sure i'll uh i'll have a nice look at those because I, I do look at all the comments i don't reply to many i realize that um but i i do read all the comments and whenever someone's actually chatting about stuff i i do try and get involved a little bit i do enjoy talking to you guys but uh yeah otherwise it's gonna be it from me so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye look at the screen. Just wanna take